Hi guys and welcome to another Soccer Scanner video. Today's video we're going to take a look at XG, otherwise known as expected goals. So expected goals is just a measurement of the quality of the chance that the teams have created. Okay, so it's rated between 0 and 1, 1 being uh, obviously a, a cast iron goal that will never ever been based, and, and down to 0 has been a very poor chance. So if you've got a, a 5 yard tap in for example, you might have an XG of 0.8. Okay, if you've got a, a shot from outside the box from 35 yards, it might have an XG of 0 0.05. Okay, and what we do is we collate those over the, the life of the game. And in the new version of the scanner, which you guys won't have seen yet, but will be coming shortly, you can actually see how that's played out. So what you can see here is that <clears throat> for the first couple of minutes, it was quite quiet in terms of chances. Um, it looks like Bournemouth had a couple of very poor chances going forward. And then Aston Villa have taken their chance. So when they scored that goal about 25, 26 minutes, you know, their XG was very, very low. So it looks to me like that was a an exceptional goal or it was a fluke or something hasn't really happened. It wasn't a guilt edge chance. So you can see here that whilst the score is 2-0, the quality of chances that either team have created have not been guilt edged. OK, so you can read into this what you want. You can see there's a lot of games at the moment where we've got expected goals. I've also put on here to help out that we've got obviously expected goals per game. So what you can start to do now is you can start to use you know, live stats with historical stats. OK, and that, again, that gives us a better insight into the game. So what I'm doing is just looking for an, a game here. So you can see here Crystal Palace v Brighton. You can see there's been very little um, Shots on target and attacking intent. Uh, look at that for the last five minutes. There's nothing. But look at the XG. OK, so they're creating chances. And, you know, half of the XG that have been created has been created in the last five minutes. So, you know, if you're starting to watch this game, it looks to me like Crystal Palace are really starting to put the pressure on. Um, and they're starting to increase now. Obviously, it's half time. Whether that will increase in the second half, it will be interesting to see. What's also interesting is, you know, we've got 0.53 and 0.21. The bookmakers' odds are very, very similar. So, again, what you can start to see is maybe an insight here into a, a team that's going to win that you wouldn't see otherwise because you could see the quality of the chances. You can see it here Nottingham Forest 0.75. You know, it, well on top in this game, odds are still 0.2.6 for them to win. OK, um, and it, but again, the last five minutes, let me just switch up to the last 10 minutes. You know, last 10 minutes, not really anything's happened in terms of, of goal score, of quality goal scoring opportunities. Maybe the one to look for here is you can see in the last 10 minutes, you know, Lorient, although they're 1-0 up. And let's have a look when they scored that goal. They scored that goal in 44 minutes. So you can see here that this is reflecting this last 10 minutes is reflecting that the pressure that they've put on and the goal that they've scored now obviously we're after the fact now but if you can see that pressure start to building you can then see that a chance is going to be coming um, so it, it's very very useful in terms of um, rating the quality of the chances look at this game here nil nil bologna v napoli you know one shot on target each 19 and 33 minutes right in the last 10 minutes, no changes in XG. But before that, you know, we can see it's starting to build. OK, so it's a very, very useful metric. Um, but with like everything on Soccer Scanner, don't use it in isolation. You know, here's another interesting game here. Um, you know, a weird team massively on top in terms of XG. Very similar in terms of shots on target identical on shots off target but the quality of chances that Florentino are creating are much much better okay um now again you can keep an eye on that again look at that last 10 minutes you can see that the home team has probably had the better chances but overall in the game Florentino have been on top so again you can watch that and again half time is not the ideal time to look at it right we want to be looking at this live whilst the game is running but it's good to see it as an example at half time so you've also got the advantage you can put in average xg per goals okay which is a historic stat so you can see that typically here Bologna score you know with a lot less xg than Napoli do for example 
you know it just helps you so as with everything don't use it in isolation use it with the other statistics watch it change in play look at the last five and ten minutes when you get this new version of the scanner and then you'll start to see you know at patterns in the game you'll start to see things that are slightly different so just remember it's a different metric to the others the others are measuring quantity of, of a of particular metric this is measuring quality so use the two together and then use the historic stats together and that will allow you to make better more informed betting decisions okay i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please leave me a like please leave me some comments what other videos you want to see uh, and any questions that you've got and i'm more than happily um, answer them thank you very much for watching